Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. This video is a look at the CYC photon motor, specifically the axle bearings and the axle assembly. A few weeks back, I removed the photon from the bike that it was on. And when I removed the cranks, I noticed that the rotation was not very smooth. I traced the issue back to the bearing on the non-drive side, and it was not turning very smoothly at all. And I wondered at the time if there was something that I'd done to damage the bearing during assembly. And a few people seemed pretty confident that I'd sideloaded uh, this bearing here. After removing the bearing from the cup, however, it immediately freed up and it moves at least as smoothly as you would expect from a sealed cartridge bearing and certainly as smoothly as the one that's also on this side on the, the drive side. So I'm gonna show how this assembly goes together and I'll demonstrate what I think is causing this issue to occur. Because the bearing cups are coming out of brand new motors that are stiff on the non-drive side. And, and if they're not already stiff, they become stiff after installation in, in many cases. The good news for CYC is I'm pretty sure that this is an easy fix and it can be done in the factory just by adjusting tolerances. Although I don't think it's ever gonna be as smooth as other methods just by design. So the motor slots on to the bottom bracket from the drive side and it's secured um, on the bottom bracket with the BB cup from the non-drive side. The axle gets loaded in from the drive side And like, even now with it just on the one bearing, like it's not turning particularly smoothly in the bearing on this side. It's not something that I noticed when I was riding because it's backed up with 750 watts of assist power. But if this was a regular pedal bike though, people would not be, not be happy with this much resistance. If we look at the other side, uh, you can see um, where it all comes out with the cup and this bearing effectively inserts into this cup here at the bottom. So that would slot into there. And then you have a lock ring and the lock ring goes on over this part here. And that spins on. And that basically, when this is locked in, it keeps the axle in place and stops it from sliding out. And if you notice on this lock ring and also on the inside of the bearing with this plastic piece there is a ridge and these ridges lock together like this so when everything's matched up the axle then rotates within these bearings and the problem I believe comes down to one of tolerances so the depth inside of this is 7.21 millimeters with digital calipers. And the depth of the bearing here is only 6.8 millimeters, again, by calipers. And it might not seem much, but I think that the bearing is being pushed back into the cup here by approximately 0.44 millimeters. I've modeled this and I've put it in a cutaway so you can see what I mean on the screen, because I think this tiny difference in tolerance is bringing the plastic insert that rotates with the axle in contact with the outer part of this bearing cup. And this contact is enough to make the bearing appear to be stiff, when in fact the bearing is actually perfectly okay. It's friction from this plastic part on this bearing cup that is causing the problem, I believe. And I think it's doing the same to maybe a lesser degree on that side. I don't think there's anything you can do either at the factory when they're pressed in or when you assemble the motor on the bike that can prevent this issue from occurring. The easiest fix for me is to adjust the tolerances of the cups where the bearings um, slide in, basically to bring them closer to the surface. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna then make the rotation of the axles and cranks much smoother. Um, so that's, that's the bearings. Um, there is, one small other issue, and that's getting this chain ring off. So I'll talk about that. So I had a few questions um, about how to remove the chain ring from people that were really struggling 
So I thought, well, I'll give it a crack. Um, and this is this is how people are trying to do it, using a chain whip to lock this ring in position. And then you have to use the tool they supply to slot in here and then rotate it around. Um, and I am not, I've tried this a whole bunch. I'm not the strongest person in the world for sure. Um, but I can't shift this. Um, and people that are stronger than me have not shifted it yet either. I can't get it to shift. So I'm going to try and find someone that's super strong to try. Uh, if people have ideas, um, post them in the comments. I don't think it should be this hard to remove a lock ring. Like this tool makes it very difficult. I can't like whack it with a hammer or anything like that. You just have to like, and it's not, this is not a comfortable tool to use. Like I hope that that dealers have a better way of doing this. Otherwise doing maintenance on this is going to be a nightmare. Anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. That's it for, for this one. Let me know what you think in the comments. I am actually going to be getting this motor installed on my wife's trusty steed so she can enjoy some CYC action. As always, thanks for watching the video and a huge shout out to all the channel members and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.